uh, declaring the arrival of Space Shuttle Atlantis now docked to the International Space Station. Joining Whitson now in the Harmony module is cosmonaut and flight engineer Yuri Malenchenko. And Houston Alpha, before the five minutes, uh, the pressure reading is 720. I've got a five minute timer going. Copy, 720 on space ground two. That was Whitson providing an update as they've commenced with the uh, leak check procedures that expected to last about an hour. Other leak checks continuing between the orbiter itself and the pressurized mating adapter. Houston Alpha Space Ground 2, the node 2 forward hatch is open, and uh, I guess I, we're wondering if we're uh, going to open the APAS hatch, step 5. And uh, we copy uh, PMA and uh, negative on uh, opening the uh, APAS hatch. Okay, I understand, negative, we'll wait. We're watching now a replay of the view from inside the Harmony Note as the STS-122 crew members arrive on board the International Space Station at 1240 Central Time this afternoon, led by Commander Steve Frick, followed by Leopold Ayarts, who will take over on board for Dan Tani. Behind him is fellow ESA astronaut Hans Schlegel. Hans. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the station now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Coming in now and carrying the camera, mission specialist Leland Melvin. Embracing station commander Peggy Whitson on her birthday. Today, her 48th birthday. She's joked that she's received the visitors and a new module as a present. Whitson now greeting shuttle pilot Alan Poindexter. Following behind Poindexter, mission specialist Stan Love. Welcome aboard. Finally made it. Yeah. And the final member of the shuttle crew, Rex Walheim. All right, ready for the safety. Dan, why don't you lead the way? All right. Where are we going? Just stop in the nose. Just stop in the left. We're going to go all the way to the end. All the way to the end. And go slow. All, all the 122 guys, yeah. Be careful. We're not we're not ballerinas yet. All right. It was amazing. We saw you guys from so far away, we couldn't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we must have been green or K or something. It was un it was incredible. It was the brightest star in the sky by like eight or nine. Yeah, we could we could tell by it was great fun for us here because some of the camera angles are different with Note 2 and uh, of course looking at the video we can tell you guys are having fun too.
this view of Atlantis and the International Space Station as they're flying 217 miles above the far southern Pacific Ocean. On board, the uh, 10 crew members are in the midst of a safety briefing, which uh, station commander Peggy Whitson will brief the uh, new arrivals on the uh, location of the safety equipment on board the International Space Station, as well as uh, safety procedures that the uh, combined crews would follow uh, in the case of, uh, in case something untoward were to occur. And the view we're getting now is as the crew members are setting up at the robotics workstation inside Destiny for that uh, grapple of and handoff of the orbiter boom sensor system. The view from the camera on the starboard side of the International Space Station's truss uh, at the roughly center of the screen at the bottom you can see the hatch to which the Columbus module will be attached tomorrow. The uh, upcoming activity will remove the orbiter boom sensor system from its current location and the Canon Arm 2 will hand off the boom to uh, the... And this is station for uh, SSOMS. Uh, we have the go for the OBS, OBS and birth and we are proceeding. Okay, we copy. We're ready. And this view of uh, mission specialist Leland Melvin wearing the cap and Leopold Aarts to his left at the controls of the space station's robotic arm about ready to lift the orbiter boom sensor system from its perch. And with that, the orbiter boom sensor system being lifted off of the starboard sill of Atlantis's payload bay by Canadarm2 under the controls of Leland Melvin and Leopold A. Arts. Houston, Atlantis on two, flow in water into uh, CWC 1085. Copy, Dex. The procedure will take about an hour for Canon Arm 2 to swing the orbiter boom sensor system into position where the Space Shuttle's robotic arm, run by Commander Steve Frick and Mission Specialist Stan Love, will then grapple the OBSS by one end. Then the station arm will release uh, its hold on the grapple fixture in the middle and the station arm can move the OBSS uh, clear of the area of activity tomorrow when the Columbus Laboratory module will be installed on the starboard side of the Harmony node. <laughs> 